Everything that can be done by government, everything that can be done by voluntary agencies in this great, powerful, rich country now will be done. And that will give some hope, and we hope those hopes will not be disappointed. There's no question but what that stroke of a pen, uh, making cancer a priority for this country has saved a lot of lives. It's actually changed the cancer picture worldwide. Its biggest impact on the American Cancer Society was for us to understand that we had to go from being a research and service organization into a high impact public health change agency. So the organization, the American Cancer Society, became much more of a public health intervention organization than it was back in 1971. One of the most important things that came out of the National Cancer Act is we started doing a lot of basic science to study the disease. We started understanding a great deal about the inner workings of the cancer cell. We've even redefined cancer over the last 40 years. And so our approach to the disease, our approach to treatment of the disease, our approach to prevention of the disease has become much more uh, advanced as science has uh, taught us a great deal. More people each year die of cancer in the United States than all the Americans who lost their lives in World War II. This shows us what is at stake. When our organization got started, most people who got cancer died. Uh, now most people who get cancer survive. And we have 12 million cancer survivors in the country, first time ever. That would not have happened if it were not for the National Cancer Act. We are definitely winning the war on cancer. Since 1991, there has been an 18.3% decline in the death rate. Translated, in the year 2008, 130,000 people did not die of cancer because of our cancer prevention technologies, our cancer screening technologies, and our cancer treatment technologies, many of which came out of the National Cancer Act. Dr. Hatton, the president of the American Cancer Society. Thank you, Mr. President. This bill, we feel, is a real great opportunity for America, probably the greatest thing that has ever been done by the United States. And to you, sir, who asked for this to be a national priority, and to our friends in the Congress who gave us this bill, the two and a half, two and a quarter million volunteers of the American Cancer Society ask that I express their appreciation. We are truly, truly grateful, sir. Thanks to the National Cancer Act and the work of the American Cancer Society, cancer today is potentially the most preventable and the most curable of all of the major life-threatening non-communicable diseases. And our job now, building on that legacy, is to change that potentiality into a reality for all people.